Hi girls, today's going to be a little collective haul. It's from a little bit of brand PR actually, from brands that have sent me a couple of items and I have a few more coming in so I might just feature those in an updated haul video. But then I also have a few things that I actually picked up on Amazon and I'll explain why because I'm not the biggest fan of Amazon but that is where I've got these items and they're all pretty much new things that I've never tried before. So if you enjoy my beauty hauls and skincare reviews and that sort of thing then please do thumbs up and subscribe because I'll have much more of these hauls coming up this, this summer. And let's just get into it. So I'll actually start with three products that I received from a brand. I've worked with them before, if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen me using them but also I'm wearing their mascara today. It's actually a really really good mascara so I'm so happy to work with them because honestly the product is amazing and the mascara I have to show you guys I have used before already I've used it a couple of times but this one is the Swede Pro Lift mascara or something like that so it's the first product they sent me and then this time they sent me these falsies false lashes which I don't really use false lashes but I'm obviously going to test these out they look really nice they look quite natural not sure if that's focusing but they're very like wispy and a bit spaced out and they look more natural so yeah I think I will have to cut them a little bit but they look almost like natural lashes which is what I would hope to go for or I might even cut them and just use them as like outer corner pieces but yeah I'm so happy they sent me this because it's not something I would have tried myself otherwise and maybe it's something that I really love using and use for special occasions it's the cluster 3d medium so I don't know if medium is lengthwise, um, is widthwise or lengthwise, maybe lengthwise in terms of how long the lashes actually are. But yeah, really, really gorgeous packaging as well. So next product I received from them is the Swede Cloud Mascara and it has of course really pretty cloud prints all over it and actually it matches my nails perfectly today. And this one I can show you guys because I've already used it quite a few times. I don't know if the brush will really show you much but it is, it does create very separated long lashes. I think that's what it kind of goes for. And yeah, length and just creating really beautiful looking lashes. And they are pretty dark. Like this one is quite an intense black shade when you apply it a couple times, like three or four strokes. Same with this one, it comes out super, it actually comes out quite thick and black. And then the final product is also a lash product that I guess once I use this, perhaps I won't have much use for the false lashes, let's hope. But it's the Swede Pro Eyelash Serum. So it's two, it's kind of like an eyelash growth serum and it's actually something that I wanted to try out for a while. And I just never wanted to commit to buying it because I have nice lashes and when I apply mascara, if you guys can see, um, it does create a nice effect. So I just couldn't be bothered to invest the money, but amazing that a company ended up sending me this. So it says here that it doesn't have prostaglandin, don't know what that is, but it does not sound good. Beautifying high performance serum, 97% experience longer lashes, 94% experience fuller lashes, 82% got compliments on their lashes after starting to use this. So those do sound really promising. And I'm not sure what else it contains, but it says it's a high performance serum with conditioning and nourishing agents. And okay, it's got vitamin B5, pumpkin seed oil, soybean polypeptide, and some other kind of extract. It's vegan, cruelty-free, so that's why I love this brand. Love working with them, so I'm very grateful to have received that because it's something that was kind of on my wish list, but I just couldn't be bothered to buy it myself. And yeah, now I get to test it out for free because you just never know with those kind of products, are they actually gonna work? But I'll definitely give you guys an update um, if you're interested. Now, next product is very random, but it's something I needed a new version of, and it's the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Insta Shine Hairspray. So really, I just needed a hairspray. I was running low, and I thought if I do have a hairstyle that I want it to last until the next day, it's super windy, and I've got curls or something, or I don't want the hair, my hair flying everywhere, I just thought, why not have a good hairspray handy? A little bit of ASMR there as well and this one adds shine supposedly I don't know if it will weigh my hair down make it maybe look a little greasy but I do have high hopes it was very highly reviewed on Amazon and just a quick disclaimer I bought on Amazon because these were products where I kind of needed them straight away one of the products I really needed so I was like I'll just buy all of these on Prime 
um because my mom has amazon prime so i just ordered it for her and then she brought it to me whatever but i just thought why not get them immediately i can film a haul i can start using them straight away for whatever i need and yeah normally i would shop at boots or yeah i mean i have a boots card so i usually go there but i don't like amazon so this was one of those few occasions during the year where i just was like you know what i'll just get it through them because it's free delivery so this is, yeah, the Insta Shine Hairspray for Selfie Ready Styles, protects hair from drying out, says it has no residue, lasting hold, and adds a bit of gloss to your hair. So it kind of has everything you'd hope for, where your hair doesn't look damaged or dry or crispy. I hate crispy hair from hairspray. So yeah, it's a really big package as well, 300 milliliters, and it said that it was cruelty free. I don't know if it's vegan, but it was definitely cruelty free, so that's why I picked this one. So the next products are all skincare. I have here a makeup melting cleansing balm. It's from e.l.f., which is not a brand I normally use. I think it's an American brand. Very cheap, based for, I think their demographic is teenagers, young skin, like yeah, really kind of cheap drugstore prices. However, they have some really amazing um, like high-end dupes, and I have used them before. They are a good brand, it's just not one I would kind of steer towards generally. But it was one of the cheapest cleansing balms on Amazon. I know that e.l.f. is cruelty free. I'm quite certain this is also, yes, yeah, cruelty free and vegan. Inexpensive, again, really highly reviewed. And it's just a cleansing balm just to melt my makeup off. So I thought it's just worth the risk buying something new. So it says here that uh, it's a two-in-one makeup remover face cleanser, removes impurities, cleanses the skin. It also contains peptides, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid. So it's going to do a little good for your skin, keep it moisturized, not going to strip it or dry it out from any natural oils or anything. It's going to be quite gentle and hopefully not like pull out your skin or anything around the eye area and whatnot. So yeah, I think I paid about eight pounds for that. And this is what it actually looks like because I used it last night because I needed it straight away, like I mentioned. But you, of course, get a little spoon to scoop it out, which makes it a lot easier to use. So it's called the Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm. It's such gorgeous patching. I love the blue shade of this. And then let me just show you guys. It's a bit messy because I've already dug into it, but it looks... Yeah, it doesn't have a scent, which I'm also happy about. But I just love this patching. Like, this color is so pretty. So yeah, last night when I used it, it was pretty good, no issues. The only thing is my eye area, I always struggle there. I get a bit of those panda eyes because I can never get the full mascara or eyeshadow or whatever dark colors I might have on. It just kind of smudges around my eyes until I literally wash my face like three times. So yeah, I haven't found a cleansing balm that works for that yet, but this one is still really good. It was easy to wash off, easy to melt, and yeah, pretty good product so far. So, penultimate product now, another skincare product that I needed was the, uh, well I didn't need this, but I bought the Super Facialist Vitamin C Brighten Eye Cream, and I'm wearing it today, I don't, I suppose my, I have dark circles and they aren't, they are, do look a little brighter, obviously I'm wearing full face of makeup, but they did look a little bit better, they weren't like crazy dark, uh, my eyes, my eye area felt moisturized, my makeup went on nicely, so yeah, I used this this morning for the first time, I can't really fault it, I didn't see anything wrong with it, I think I might have even used this before, but it's specifically for dark circles, so of course the brightening effect is supposed to lighten your under eye area, it was only £8 I think on offer from maybe 12 and this is again cruelty free and p potentially also vegan, so I just wanted to support the brand, they are sold at Boots, and it was really highly reviewed, so maybe it does work really well for people. But like I said, it felt moisturizing. It doesn't really have much of a scent. My eye area looks and feels okay. So let's just see how I get on with this. And I will do an updated review in my empties when um, I finish the whole pack. Of course, it came in this little packaging here. And I, th I guess I'll point out a few little extra details. High performance scientific ingredients and exquisite aromas. I didn't really notice an aroma, so I'm not sure, not sure what's going on there. But it says healthy, beautiful, youthful looking skin with pro-collagen, vitamin C for a youthful, healthy glow. And it's also got caffeine, so which again is going to stimulate the, the blood vessels or like just the colouring in the eye area. It's going to like stimulate the 
epidermis, I think. And I don't really know what I'm talking about, as you guys can probably tell, but it's gonna do something to stimulate your skin and brighten it. So caffeine is really good as well. And it's supposed to help for fine lines, considering I'm now 28. Um, you know, it's time for me to start using anti-aging eye creams. And final product to have, again, completely new random brand. They are cruelty free. I don't know if it says anything here, but I looked for cruelty free. So I'm really hoping I didn't buy the wrong thing. But they are a random brand that had a highly, they were highly rated, they were cheap. I think I paid eight, between eight and 10 pounds for nose pore strips. And you get six here, so it technically should last between at least three weeks up to six weeks. So it's quite a while. Good investment considering you're paying so little for an at-home skin treatment. It's called the Instaclear Blackhead Nose Strips. The only thing here is they literally come out clear and yeah, so it looks different to what I'd normally use. It's not like a thicker paper material. It's like a clear plastic strip. So I heard people say they had a bit of trouble with that. So I'm gonna keep an eye out on that when I use it for the first time. But I think it works the exact same as a normal pore strip would. And yeah, you just wet your face or your nose area and then apply it for approximately 10 minutes, I'd say. So yeah, we'll see how this works. Of course, it's something I needed a new set of. And I normally use the Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel ones, but I ran out and like I said, couldn't be bothered to go to Boots, so I just ordered off Amazon. Maybe these will be amazing. And yeah, these are just like my daily or weekly skincare, hair care, makeup treatments, uh, products that I would normally use. So hopefully you guys enjoyed them. And I hope you guys picked up a couple recommendations or maybe learned something from the haul, maybe a product you wanna try out for yourself. Do leave a comment below if you saw anything that you wanna really use yourself or if you've tried it before, if it's good or bad. Do thumbs up and subscribe because it would mean so much to me and I'll see you next time. Bye.